take this dark magenta pink color and I'm going to apply it on a smudging brush and I'm just going to apply this as a cut crease and I'm not going to go past my brow bone. I'm just going to simply put that in the crease. Next I'm going to take this jumbo eye pencil in Oyster and it's this pearly pink and I'm going to focus this in the center of my lid um, right above my lash line and just spread that on and then just kind of blend it out with my finger. I'm also going to take this right below the lower lashes and I'm actually going to go all the way to the inner corner of my eye. Next I'm going to take this pearly pink, it's really similar to the oyster color and I'm just going to apply this on an all over shadow brush and apply this where I applied the oyster color. And I'm just going to pack that on twice. And then I'm also going to take it underneath my lash line where I put the oyster color. And don't forget your inner corner. So next what I'm going to do is take this eyeshadow in Pale Moon, it's by Estee Lauder, and it's also in the Pearly Pink family. I'm just going to apply this on my smudgy brush along with a little bit of the magenta, and I'm just going to dust this over where I put that magenta in my crease and just kind of blend it out. And you want to make sure not to get it too high past your crease bone. I'm just going to take that color again and just blend out that magenta color some more. So the next shade that I'm going to take is this apricot golden orange shade in the outer corner and drag it up to where the magenta shade is and then just blend it in with the magenta shade slightly. And I'm going to apply it again and again blend it into that area. And this is just going to create some really nice colors in this corner. I'm going to take a little bit of that orangey shade and dust it onto the brow bone where I put that magenta shade just so it has a nice transition. Take this highlight color and it's kind of a yellowy white and I'm just going to put this in the inner and I'm just going to put this in the inner corner of my eye. I'm also going to put this underneath my brow bone. The last shade I'm going to take is this yellow and I'm just going to apply this on my finger again and apply it in the center of my lid. I have to take this dark royal purple and just put it on my smudging brush and just smudge it into the outer corner just to make it look a little bit more pulled together and cooler. Then I'm going to add my L'Oreal Shocking Extensions Mascara. eyeliner it's by elf and it's called punky purple and I'm just going to apply this kind of like a cat eye shape as you can see from the other one I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face I'm gonna use my hard candy glamouflage concealer and I'm just gonna apply this a little bit underneath my eyes I'm gonna move on to my cheeks and I'm using my physicians formula sexy booster bronzer and I'm just gonna dust this all over my cheeks and then I'm gonna put it down my neck and then a little bit on my chest area as well. I'm next going to apply my cheek color and this is a hot pink from CoverGirl and it's one of their cheekers and it's a really pretty baby pink and I really like it. Lastly I'm going to move on to lips and I'm kind of doing a trio of colors just to get the perfect color that I want. I do want it to kind of have like a multi-tonal color just so it looks more interesting. I'm first going to start off with this lipstick by The Color Workshop and it's just a pearly pinky. So I'm going to use a Revlon lip butter. This one is in Cupcake and it says really pretty gorgeous baby pink color and I'm just going to apply this in the center of my lips and I'm just going to blend it out. I'm going to use another Revlon lip butter. This one is in Tutti Fruity and it's this orange shade and it's really pretty as well and I'm also going to apply this in the center of my lips and just drag it out. I'm going to apply it just a little bit more in the center of my lip and just blend it out in the center of my lip. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye!